Hello everyone. Now, did you just say hello back? Did you? Because today is all about call and response. So if I say something and then you say it back to me, that's call and response, isn't it? Good. So let's try that one more time. Hello everyone. Brilliant. Now what if I said it really quietly? Hello everyone. Good. Good. I can think of a song that's all about call and response. I'll need one of these. Can you sing everything that I sing back to me? I know you can. Kumala, Kumala, Kumala Vista. Fabulous. Now, did you manage to do all of the piano bits, piano, and all of the forte bits, forte, just like I did? Oh, you are all amazing. I've got a letter here. It's from a Miss Hazel Tree Frog, and it says, Dear Ian, why does Mr. Horse not talk? Yours Hazel tree frog. Well, Hazel, the reason is it's because Mr. Horse is very shy. Aren't you very shy? See, very shy. I wonder if you can help me help Mr. Horse to speak. Do you think you can do that? So I'm going to say something and you're going to say it back, but we'll pretend that you're Mr. Horse. Mm, good. Now, if I say why, I'd like you to say, I don't know. Can you try that? Why? I don't know. Neither do I. And then I finish with a neither do I. Everything else I say, you're just going to say it back to me. But you're going to pretend to be Mr. Horse. Should you have a go? Okay. Mr. Horse says, ooh. Ah. Oh. La la la. And then he stops. Why? I don't know. Neither do I. But I do know that when Mr. Horse is very sad, he says, Oh. Oh. La la la. And then he stops. Why? Neither do I. But I do know that when Mr. Horse is very excited, he says, Woo! La la la! Oh! And then he stops. Why? I don't know. Neither do I. But I do know that when Mr. Horse is very sleepy, Mr. Horse says, Oh! 
And then he stops. Why? Well, neither do I. Do you, Mr. Horse? You are being very quiet recently, aren't you? You're much more talkative than this usually. Is it because of them? Yes, he's very shy in front of other people. Now here's one that we should all remember. Do you remember Captain Jack? So I go first and then you're going to copy me. I'm going to need one of those. Two of... Oh, oh I'm going to need some marching music, aren't I? One leg, two legs, one thumb, two thumbs, one, two. Here we go. Hey, hey, Captain Jack, take me down to the railroad track. I've got my boots and I've got my hat. I'm gonna be in a marching band. Go left, go left, right, left. Go left, go right, go pick up the strike. Go left, go right, go left. Not bad. Can we do it a little bit quicker? Hey, hey, Captain Jack. Take me down to the railroad track. I've got my boots and I've got my hat. I'm going to be in a marching band. Go left. Go left, right, left. Go left, go right, go pick up the strike. Go left, go right, go left. Oh, very good. One more time. Hey, hey, Captain Jack, take me down to the railroad track. I've got my boots and I've got my hat. I'm going to be in a marching band. Go left, go left, right, left. Go left, go right, go pick up the strike. Go left, go right, go left. see anything. Did you see anything? What did you see? <gasps> a dinosaur. Did you see a dinosaur? Well, I never. Hmm. Well, if we're looking out for dinosaurs, I have to put my explorer hat on. Okay, now I'm ready to look for dinosaurs. Now, I think that schools would be a really funny place to find a dinosaur. But this is a song all about dinosaurs in schools. So I'll pick up a guitar. Should have got it when I got the hats, really, shouldn't I? Never mind. I live and learn. This is a dinosaur school song, and it was written in a school by lots of children, not by me. That's why it's good. If I'd have wrote it, it wouldn't be nearly as good as this. The chorus goes like this. It's hard to be a dinosaur You have to squeeze right through the door It's hard to be a dinosaur at school It's hard to be a dinosaur There's hardly room upon the floor It's hard to be a dinosaur at school Do you think you can join in with that bit? It's hard to be a dinosaur You have to squeeze through the door it's hard to be a dinosaur at school. It's hard to be a dinosaur. There's hardly any room upon the floor. It's hard to be a dinosaur at school. And I'll sing the other bits for you. Just 
Tony Triceratops eats plants and Cocoa Pops. That's the kind of food that gives him fuel. And Raymond the Raptor lost the keys to his tractor, so he has to take the bus to school. A little pterodactyl cannot find her satchel, so she carries her books under her wing. The school bus pulls away, the dinosaurs are on their way, and as the wheels go round we hear them sing. It's hard to be a dinosaur, you have to squeeze right through the door. It's hard to be a dinosaur at school. It's hard to be a dinosaur, there's hardly room upon the floor. It's hard to be a dinosaur at school. Dixie Diplodocus found it hard to focus. Just looking at the board made her feel ill. And Tina Rex is quite perplexed, her tiny arms can't reach the desk. So she has to use a very long pencil. And Miss Spinosaurus got married to a walrus And now we have to call her Mrs Tusk She writes the words upon the board And tells us all to face forward Counts one, two, three, and then we sing Are you ready? It's hard to be a dinosaur We have to squeeze right through the door It's hard to be a dinosaur at school it's hard to be a dinosaur, there's hardly room upon the floor. It's hard to be a dinosaur at school. It's hard! It's hard to be a dinosaur, it's hard to be a dinosaur. It's hard to be a dinosaur at school. One more time! It's hard to be a dinosaur, it's hard to be a dinosaur. It's hard to be a dinosaur at school. I'd like to thank everyone that helped me write that song because it was very good. Did you join in? Brilliant. Well, I think that's about all we've got time for once again. So I'm going to say goodbye and Mr. Horse is going to say goodbye. He said it very quietly. Shall we sing? Goodbye, goodbye, it's time to say goodbye, more singing, more playing, we'll do some more next time. Did you see the dinosaur? little pterodactyl. He was joining in. Bye bye everyone. <laughs>